In 2015, we set a five-year strategy to be better and do more for our members to help us all engineer a better Aotearoa. And the first thing we needed to do was become more relevant, engaging and inclusive. So it was haere rā to iPens and kia ora to Engineering New Zealand, to Ao Rangaho. This change was not just about a name and a logo, but much, much more. It redefined what we stood for and established our new guiding principle to bring engineering to life. So let's take a journey together to look back on what an epic five years it's been. At our heart, we're the professional home for engineers in New Zealand. It's been great to see our membership grow by a whopping 35% to over 22,000 members, including a big increase in our younger engineers. We're also delighted to see a growth of 101% in our female membership and we're committed to continuing to grow that number, along with our Māori and Pacifica members. Because the larger we are, the louder our voice can be heard. Much like our membership, we've also seen huge growth in the range of services, capabilities and programmes that we offer. We recognise the need to better connect our members, so we activated our 18 branches into regional hubs across both islands and the UK, helping them create thriving committees and communities. We've grown our groups to 31, becoming the technical core of our organisation and giving members the opportunity to connect with others in their field of interest. In 2017, we began our CE breakfasts and in 2019, our employer forums to connect with senior leaders on what the profession needs most from us. We launched a new website to tell our stories in fresh and engaging ways and then proudly introduced our new member area, bringing a fresh digital platform for our members to log in and track their personal development access key documents, and much more. We've embraced social media with strong followers across LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And our award-winning member magazine, EG, started arriving on the doormats of all our members and is a regular site in Air New Zealand Kōru lounges. Bringing you news, information, and stories on amazing feats of engineering and the people behind them. A major change saw the launch of our new membership pathway, which has brought a clearer entry and progression pathway for all engineers, based on professionalism, competence, and strong ethical conduct, providing a professional home for the lifetime of an engineer's career. Remember when people had to remain graduate members for their entire career, they didn't get chartered? We've also streamlined the chartered assessment process and have grown the number of chartered professional engineers by 15% to around 4,000. Plus, we've overhauled our rules and regulations to make them more fit for purpose, accessible, and credible. Our reputation worldwide continues to grow with our professional accreditation program, setting the bar for entering to the profession, providing worldwide recognition of New Zealand engineering qualifications and graduates. We've also signed various agreements to strengthen our bonds with other countries for the betterment of our members and the wider engineering world. We established our award-winning in-house legal team who have transformed our complaints process to be fairer and more robust. And provide tools and training to members on how to avoid complaints and respond effectively if they do occur. Our new Code of Ethical Conduct was introduced, giving members the ability to make an annual personal commitment for the good of the profession. Our sector programs team is now well established as the much needed link between government and engineers, working with both MBIE and Waka Kotahi to identify and tackle the issues that matter to engineers and all New Zealanders. Think regulation, best practice, innovation, safety, resilience, and sustainability. We created an expert engineering panel supporting the Greater Christchurch Claims Resolution Service and the Canterbury Earthquakes Insurance Tribunal to make resolutions easier for those affected by the devastating earthquakes. We understand being an engineer means being busy most of the time. 
So we've developed and launched numerous quality improvement initiatives, such as updates to key practice notes, new consent document templates, and an engineer to the contract proposal, helping to build a toolbox for our members to utilize when and where they need it. Because when it comes to our communities, our people, and our future, only the best will do. We've grown learning opportunities to suit the busy lives of our members with live webinars and online resources to complement more traditional face-to-face -face courses. We also recognise the important part collaboration plays with a huge number of networking and learning events held up and down the country. Looking after our members through good times and bad saw us launch our wellbeing programme with the Engineering New Zealand Foundation. We offer a range of tools and resources to help our members cope with stress and maintain positive mental health. We've always known engineering is awesome, but now we get to shout it from the rooftops with the arrival of the Envies. Our new awards showcasing outstanding engineering and our most amazing engineers. We also overhauled our fellows and distinguished fellows process to make it more inclusive. Making sure the engineering profession is truly diverse and inclusive is a goal of the diversity agenda that we launched in 2018 with ACE New Zealand and the New Zealand Institute of Architects. This initiative aims to help all people, regardless of gender, sexuality, ethnicity or disability, into the engineering profession and see them succeed in safe, supportive and inclusive workplaces. Engineers are full of ideas, get how things work and want their voice to be front and centre on issues. That's why our Engineering a Better New Zealand Thought Leadership Series sets out a vision for a healthier, more prosperous country and what we need to do to get there. Tackling key issues, including seismic resilience, water management and cleaner energy. We're growing the next generation of engineers through the Wonder Project. Our free school programme established in 2017 which has seen over 30,000 Kiwi kids given the opportunity to get excited about science, technology, engineering and maths. We're also making the most of our members' amazing skills and knowledge through our Mentor Me programme, which sees experienced engineers paired up with emerging professional members to develop personal and professional capabilities. As you can see, we've achieved a lot in the past five years. But we couldn't have done it without the 2,000 plus volunteers who give their time to assess, teach, advocate, organise and do so much more for our profession. And we couldn't have done it without you, our members. Because 22,000 voices are loud. And we're proud to use that voice to engineer a better New Zealand. And so, what's next? We thought you might ask, because we're excited about the future and would love to share our strategy for the next five years. So, let's take a peek. Our ambitions are still founded on growing engineers' influence, credibility, recognition and connection but now we have a fifth ambition, that our members thrive in their career and well-being. We have set ourselves four goals. One, every member has a clear pathway. We support every member to advance along our membership pathway in a way that makes them feel valued. Two, chartership is the quality mark for all engineers. We establish an unambiguous quality mark that's relevant for all engineering professionals and widely recognised. Three, raising the bar across the profession. We support high quality engineering so that the government and public have trust and confidence in engineers and the work they do. Four, our digital systems are integrated, intuitive and enabling. We use technology to support our goals and deliver outstanding customer service. We're also committed to the upholding of Te Tiriti o Waitangi and incorporating Te Ao Māori into the way we work across all our goals and core work. 
And lastly, we'll continue to bring engineering to life for our members and everyone who calls Aotearoa home for the next five years and beyond.